say we, I do the five-year-olds to ten-year-olds. Actually, me, Kevin, Nellie, Farina, Tina's in there. Um, where is Jeanette uh, that, that, that cooks some stuff for us? Kathy is doing the little babies. We have a team of people that show up in here on Wednesday night. And, uh, but we, we, we are part of the public skits. Next Sunday night, I, I don't want you to, to throw this off yet because by the time I get to talking to you, I will tell you, you're going to be energized about wanting to be a part yes, of this. Yes, 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 yes. And next Sunday night, I don't like to have somebody do something that you're not comfortable with. I will promise you, after next Sunday night, after this morning and next Sunday night, you will be radical about doing children, children's ministry. Folks, I'm a pastor. I, have, I, I don't have people teach and do other things because I can't or don't want to. I want to do the kids. I love doing the kids' church. Yes. Mm. This is the next generation. I love my I have a prophetic apostolic call on my life, and I still choose to minister to kids. Part of it's going to be so fun. I mean, it is a blast. Um, these, we're going to do a couple skits. This first one is kind of a combination of two skits that we did together. About two or three weeks ago, I had to be gone on a Wednesday night. And the, the, I, 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 I write all, all of our children's church skits and everything. I write them. Basically, I did what I did this morning. I come in and I said, okay, guys, here's the deal. We got this puppet doing this. This is going to come and do this. And, that, that. and they go, okay. I said, do we need to run through it? They go, oh, no. We're fine. And so that's our, that's our prayer. And so uh, anyhow, uh, the, 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 this is on a, a combination of two weeks. One week, I, I, there were two weeks on eternity. The first week was on hell. See, Pastor, why do you tell kids about hell? Oh, don't you? Absolutely. You say, what if it scares them? Good. <laughs> I want to. Maybe it will scare the hell out of them. Yeah. When they get to be a uh, teenagers, you won't have to worry about it. Because they'll start to they'll start to follow that peer person and go, oh, oh, no. congested and I couldn't be there. Uh, got, a stomach flu hit me. And so anyhow, they did it. How many kids got saved? Five kids asked Jesus into heart that night. You say, Paul, look kids asking Jesus? Absolutely. And they gave God access into their lives. You know, I, I don't believe that once you get saved, you will never lose it. But honey, you need to give God access. And there's some kids that look really wayward that asked God into their heart a long time ago and God is still with them and teaching them and loving on them and working with them and trying to bring their gift out and God is still with them. And it all happened back when they were five, six, seven and that's God into their heart. That's right. Amen. This first one, combo of, of, uh, of the heaven and hell skip on eternity.
Because I, I know that they say that 